I'm Melissa Darnay, and you are Sipping with the Wine Maven. Today's guest in the tasting room is Robert Phillips with Book Your Gold Party DFW. Robert, what exactly is a gold party? A gold party is where women get together with their friends and bring their old, broken, or unwanted gold and silver jewelry, diamonds, sterling silver flatware, coins, gold watches, things of, the, of that nature, and we pay them top dollar cash on the spot. And uh, we also provide all of the wine and all of the food, and our average host makes about $450 to $600 just for hosting the party. Get out! That's a lot of money! In fact, that's enough money for a couple cases of wine. Now, Robert, I've been to a few of your gold parties, and they are crazy popular right now. Why is that? Well, when we first got started, gold was about $800 an ounce, and now it's over $1,600 an ounce, which is amazing. So, in addition to free food and free wine, you also get lots more free cashola. Oh, that's good. Now, do you get a lot of divorcees selling their former wedding bands? Absolutely. <laughs> we buy jewelry from ex-boyfriends, ex-husbands, ex-wives, <laughs> and all that gaudy 80s gold nugget jewelry. Um, and our divorced divas gold parties are a real hoot. I bet they are. You know, I do those with wine too. Perhaps we should combine our parties. Sell your old wedding ring and buy your new Freedom wine. Oh, exactly. I mean, you offer the best wines that they can purchase on house money. I mean, how cool is that? Very cool. You know, in fact, speaking of wine, one of the questions I get asked most frequently is, why do some wines get better with age while others turn to vinegar? Now, the answer is multifaceted, much like jewelry. Typically, the wines that will get better with age are those that are stored properly, out of direct sunlight, excess heat, and free from vibrations. But the wine also has to be one that it's intended to get better with age. The best wines to age are those with what we call high tannins, such as Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, tannins come from the skin of the grape, and that's what makes your mouth pucker right back here. Now, today, we're trying the 2007 McKenna Trilogy. Now, this is made with a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot. It's going to get better with age and continue to have layers and layers of silkiness and flavor as it ages. Is 2007 the year the wine was released? That is a great question, Robert. The year on the bottle is actually the year the grapes were picked. That means that the wine has already been aged for several years, but according to the winemaker notes, it's going to continue to get better over the next five to seven years. Before we taste it though, let's swirl it to open it up. Swirling it releases the aromas. Oh, you're a great swirler. Thank you. The McKenna Trilogy is a blend of, like I said, a blend of barrel-aged Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot. Barrel aging makes the wine softer and more complex. Now, the great news about this wine is its price. At $25, it's just a fraction of the price of comparable wines. Now, we've swirled it enough, so Robert, I'd like you to go ahead and smell it for me. What do you smell? I smell fruit and something else. Vanilla, maybe? Absolutely. You should also get some plum and cassis when you first smell it. What is cassis? <laughs> That's a good question. Cassis is a type of currant. Now, you've probably never tasted a fresh cassis currant, but most people have tried it in the liqueur form. In mm -hmm. fact, it's the what comes in uh, Pure Royale. I also smell a bit of gold. <laughs> That's because this wine is rich. Now let's take a sip. What do you think? It's fantastic. Very smooth. This wine is great now, but if you store it properly, the tannins will soften as it ages, giving it layers and layers of silky flavor. Now this wine is just begging for something rich, like lemon pepper steak, sharp cheese, or even grilled lamb. Let's see what Chef Stacy has prepared to go with this wine. Uh, oh, <laughs> lamb! Wonderful! Um, we have a lamb chop and a traditional yogurt and mint dressing to go with that. Oh my goodness, Stacey, you must have the Midas touch for food. Well, you know, everything doesn't turn to gold with me, but it does turn to yummy. <laughs> <laughs> now, what did you, you told us you made a lamb chop. Now, the lamb chop is going to go well with this. So what I want you to do is go ahead and take a bite of the lamb chop and then pair it with the food. 
he gets the fun job. <laughs> that lamb looks awesome. So and look, the baby carrot. Oh, looks like the perfect meal. And it doesn't look too heavy. It looks light enough that you could eat it and still fit into your skinny jeans. Mm. Yay, perfect medium rare. <laughs> perfect medium rare. <laughs> now you have to tell us what you did to this, mm. to the lamb. Lamb's one of those things that is super fancy, but super easy. I marinated it for about 20 minutes in rosemary, white wine, uh -huh. and uh, a little bit of salt and pepper and garlic, and then just grilled it for three minutes on each side. That's it. Now, Robert, I'm gonna have you take another bite because I want you to pair it with the wine. <laughs> he was like, oh, this is so good, I just <laughs> ate it. <laughs> pick up the bone. <laughs> yeah, you can pick up the bone here, we will let you. <laughs> of course, my dogs might fight him for the bone. <laughs> And now what's in your sauce? Very simple it, as well. A little bit of garlic, it's Greek yogurt, uh, mint. Pretty mm. simple. I just wanted another bite. Right? <laughs> He's like, oops, I, I forgot I swallowed again. <laughs> How do you like that pairing? Mm, fantastic, <laughs> it's really good. Isn't this I a fun that. job? <laughs> now Robert, how can someone get a hold of you if they want to sell their old gold? Well, they can go to our website at bookyourgoldpartydfw.com or they can reach me at 469-222-8641 if they'd like to host a party. So here's what you do. If you need more wine in your cellar right now, just call Robert and sell your old gold. Then call me because I guarantee you this wine is not going to last long. Robert, until next time, cheers. cheers.